Hey there, so you're considering Longmont, Colorado as your new home, but don't really know what to expect with this city? Well, you came to the right spot. This whole video is gonna be talking about Longmont, Colorado. Let's get started. My name is Christy Lee and this entire video is all about Longmont, Colorado and that's why I'm here to help you is to explain what the city is all about. Before we get started, make sure that you click subscribe right below, click that bell and that way you get notified for all the videos that I have um, coming available every single week that pertains to Colorado. All right, so you're thinking about Longmont but really don't know where, where is Longmont, right? Um, I will be honest, I lived in, have lived in Colorado my whole life and to be, didn't really know anything about Longmont my entire life up until maybe about even four years ago. Um, Longmont is gonna be about 25 minutes from uh, Boulder on the east side, northeast of Boulder, and then about 35 minutes uh, north of Denver. So, like I said, I didn't really give Longmont much thought just because there really wasn't ever anything here. There wasn't ever anything going on in Longmont. Um, it was just kind of one of those, in my opinion, podunk towns that, I don't know, nobody really came to. Um, there wasn't anything going on, no new houses, nothing like that forever and ever and ever. Well, that's definitely changed. Um, over the last, I would say about seven to 10 years, um, Longmont has definitely grown and we have a lot of new construction up here. Um, you could get a, you know, a great starter home, uh, three bedrooms, two bath, right around, you know, the mid 300 price point, which is considerably less than obviously Boulder, um, and even some of the other surrounding areas, considerably less than even um, Erie, um, which is just a little bit south of here. Uh, what's great about Longmont is that you are still so super close to one Boulder, but also Fort Collins. Um, we're just south of Fort Collins, only about 30 minutes from Fort Collins. We're also really close to Estes Park, only about 45 minutes from Estes Park. So Longmont definitely has a lot to offer um, if you're considering moving here. So like I mentioned before, um, Longmont has slowly started to grow over the last few years. So I would still consider, you know, it kind of being divided. You have definitely the older side of Longmont um, with the older houses and smaller houses. Um, to be, in my opinion, um, and to be perfectly honest, a lot more rundown um, houses. You have those kind of on one side of Longmont and then you have the newer houses or the more well-kept houses on the other side. So um, you're gonna have some of the more expensive ones that are gonna be up to the million dollars. And then obviously that price point that I already spoke about right around the mid 300s. I'm currently sitting at one of the greenways that Longmont has to offer and it's 65 degrees in, on a January. So that just shows you how cool Colorado is in general as far as weather is concerned. But uh, their greenways is kind of like a green, you know, a green belt or just a bike path. Um, but there's plenty of them around here that'll take you, you know, up throughout Boulder, out through obviously uh, Longmont, throughout the city of Longmont, down to Erie, to Kono, and even you could catch the trails that'll go all the way out to Denver. Um, there's a lot of lakes out here, you could go fishing, um, several golf courses which we'll go through as well, um, and then the shopping, there's a bunch of shopping. Uh, one cool thing about what they did a few years back is that the Longmont Mall was pretty run down and not that great of, you know, people that used to go there and so they've actually bulldozed it all down and rebuilt and modernized that whole area which you know creates more nicer stores better clientele um, great restaurants for anybody to who's a living around that area one of my most favorite things about Longmont is their downtown Main Street Longmont it has a bunch of old buildings that have you know, new restaurants in there, a little shopping boutiques. Um, it's just a lot of fun right now because of COVID, they've actually expanded their the streetway so you could actually sit outside actually on the street. Um, so they've definitely utilized that um, so people could come and eat outside and still, and still enjoy the food and the atmosphere that, you know, Main Street has to offer. 
There's a lot of great breweries. If you know me, if you watch any of my videos, um, I'm really, really into the Colorado beer out here and Longmont has some of the best ones in my opinion. You have Left Hand Brewery, you have Wibby Brewery, Oscar Blues is fantastic and Collision Brewery, which is great too. So, you know, if you ever just want to hang out, you know, after work, you have, you know, or even on the weekends with your friends or family, you have all of these great places to go to, whether it be on Main Street or any of these breweries to go. And all of them have, you know, tents and, you know, tables, a great atmosphere. A lot of them bring in music. So it's just a lot of fun um, atmosphere that Longmont over time has finally brought to the city and um, helped helped even the younger generation, if, in my opinion, younger generation to adapt to this city um, because there isn't really, we are a little bit farther out from Denver, obviously, so there's not that quote unquote nightlife that you would say, but we definitely, because of the breweries and some of the fun bars on Main Street, it still offers that that atmosphere for the younger, the younger generation, or if you want to call them that, um, to still utilize or to still have fun uh, with the nightlife, um, but still be in a suburbia area. For all of you who enjoy a good round of golf, Longmont offers three public golf courses, uh, Twin Peaks Golf Course, Oot Creek Golf Course, and Sunset Golf Course. All three of them are absolutely beautiful and you can play year round. All right, Longmont is located in the St. Vrain Valley School District. And according to niche.com, St. Vrain Valley School District is ranked number six in the best school districts in the Denver area. It is also ranked a B plus in overall academics as far as the teachers, clubs and activities, administration and diversity. St. Vrain School District offers a lot of different types of schools, whether it be public school, charter schools, um, anything that might fit your child's needs and wants. Okay, that's it. I apologize. Now it's a different day, different clothes. Um, it's now snowing outside. So just a couple days later and you'll notice that it went from 65 to snow. Um, but anyways, that's Longmont for you. Um, Longmont is a great place to live. Um, honestly, is it one of my favorite places? No, I feel like there's other places around Longmont that are more my favorite personally, but for what you can get out in Longmont and how close it is to Boulder and Fort Collins, um, and even Loveland for that matter too, it is, it is a great place. It's really close to the mountains as far as Estes Park is concerned. Um, there's a lot of outdoor activities you could utilize and you could do outside, riding your bike, hiking. Um, you're only an hour from Eldora Ski Resort, so that's great too. Um, but overall, Longmont as a whole, it's great. It's growing. So if you're wanting to invest in a place, um, go out to Longmont and then in a few years, you're probably gonna make quite a bit of money if you sell it. So again, this is Christy uh, with Keller Williams. Click subscribe and click that ding button, uh, that bell button so you know when I send another video out. Um, I'd love to help you out. So if you have any questions, please make a comment below. That way I can answer them and help you in any way possible. Till the next video, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.